Today we're going to make a shop air filter. Let's build that. I started out by cutting a half inch sheet of plywood to the size of my air filter. They happen to be 20 by 20 one inch filters, but they actually measure out to 19 and a half. So I'm cutting this to 19 and three quarter square. Once it's cut, I check to make sure that it's slightly bigger than my filter, and it is. This is gonna be my fan mount. So I'm marking the center, and I'm gonna use a makeshift compass to mark a 15 inch circle. That just happens to be the size of the fan I'm using. So I bought my filters appropriate to the size of my fan and I am making this hole the same size so that I can anchor this to the fan and use this to mount it to my shop filter box. So I just cut the circle and inserted it on my fan. I use these quarter inch number eight chicken wire screws to anchor my fan to the fan shroud. This is on the side that has the suction that way I can mount my electrical box behind this board just so if dust does get through it won't get dusty. I decided to remove these mounting tabs as I would not be using them for this project. I then drilled a hole in the side of the fan so that I could run my wires out and behind my shroud. Once my wire was fed through I decided to mount this switch box to my fan shroud using the same screws as before. It's a little beat up and broken, but this entire project was reclaimed everything. So now I'm just measuring the distance and I'm removing the shielding on the wires so that it'll just barely fit inside the side of this box. Now I'm gonna take an extension cord and strip one end and thread that into the box as well. This is where I'll mount my switch. So I'm just gonna combine the two white wires with a wire nut I'm going to strip the green from the extension cord, which is the ground, and attach it to the ground on the switch. It's a two wire motor, so it does not have a ground. And then I'm going to attach the two blacks to the copper terminals on the switch. And that should be all I need, so test it out, and it's working. Now that that's done, we can move on to building the box. I'm cutting two 18 inch by 19 and 3 quarter strips of half inch plywood. 18 inches is the depth I need. I'm also cutting one that's an inch longer for my cap. Now I'm going to strip a ton of 3 quarter inch stock into half inch pieces. And I'm cutting roughly 12 19 and 3 quarter pieces. These are going to be the holders for the filter. Once all those are cut, we can mount those to our two 18 by 19 and 3 quarter pieces. So I'm just anchoring one of the strips to each end and then I will be spacing them out for my slots. I couldn't find a spacer that matched the thickness of my filter so I ended up using some scraps I taped together and made it the right thickness so that I have enough clearance to slide my filters in. So one side is going to get three slots equaling the four strips and that will be the intake side so it's three layers of filtration and then on the back side I'm just doing two strips and that will be my exhaust filter just to keep dust from getting in. Now I'm checking my clearance of my fan and that's why I went with 18 inches. I measured everything out and as you can see I made two of these that are identical. Now I took the other sheet I cut at 18 by 20 and 3 quarter and I attached it to both of these top and bottom plates with the filter slots attached to them. This is going to make a U shape. I can now flip it upright and measure. These happen to be 18 and 3 quarter and I cut six of those and I lined the bottom half of this. Just to make a perimeter I just lined them up from side to side with the slots on each side. So hopefully this is making sense because it's just a lot of little strips gluing down. 
Now I'm just lining this with glue and I'm going to insert my fan shroud with my fan mount and just use some brad nails. I'm using inch and a half for all of the longer stuff and the strips to the plywood are three quarter inch that way they don't go through. I'm just marking the side so I can nail in that fan shroud. Now I'm just going to test fit all my filters and give this thing a little whirl. Now that I know it works, I can measure out this centerpiece. I think it came out to 11 inches, so I just ripped that out of the same material I've been using, and it also measures out at 20 and 3 quarters length. I'm just transcribing where my box is, and I'm going to cut that out with a jigsaw. With my cord going out the top, because this is going to be ceiling mounted, I just cut a slot on the top plywood and ran my extension cord out. And now I can line up my outlet box and I can attach this. You just want to make sure that it does not cover your slots for your filter. And once it's in place, I just tacked it in with the inch and a half brad nails. Now I'm going to mount my switch and install my switch plate. I went with black. I plan on painting this later on, so I thought the black would look really nice against the contrast. Now I'm taking three quarter inch strips and I am attaching them to the ends, leaving the open slot for each of the three intake filters. And now I'm taking four more 18 and three quarter strips and building that up to make the same perimeter that's on the inside of this box. On the back side I'm going to do the same thing just with one 20 and 3 quarter strip and then another two 18 and 3 quarter strips to make the inside filter holder. And that's pretty much it. Now you can slide in all your filters and turn it on and try it out. Like I said mine's going to be uh, ceiling mounted so the switch is on the bottom and the cord is coming out the top so I can plug it into an outlet in my ceiling. I'm just testing it with some sawdust. It definitely is moving some air. It won't pick up the heavy stuff, but it should clear out the air really quickly as far as the fine particles in the air. So, all in all, it was a pretty sweet project. Uh, I would have liked to have used some regular plywood or maybe even some nicer furniture grade hardwood plywood. But, like I said, this project was 100% free besides the filters. I picked up the old attic fan from a contractor and the rest was just scraps I had lying around and the cord was a scrap from another project. Oh, I did buy the switch and the cover only because I wanted it in black. I do have spares lying around. So all in all, it was a free project other than the filters. So I can't complain. If you need some shop filtration, feel free to use this and uh, build it up and put it in your place. It works really fantastic. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel, You and I DIY. I try and post here regularly. I've been out for a while just with some family stuff and busy, hectic schedule at the beginning of the year. But I should be back in the swing of things and getting some videos out. So. Thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next project.